Months ago in Washington, D.C., the House of Representatives passed a very strong bill, $3 trillion, to deal with the crisis we face, an unprecedented health care crisis. It included funding for our field. It included additional federal assistance for home and community-based services and for Medicaid in general. It also included money for states, for education settings. Um, the Senate, in the meanwhile, uh, under Mitch McConnell, did not pass a bill. Uh, at one point, it offered a $1 trillion alternative that did not include our constituency. And then this week, as upon its return, Senator McConnell has offered a $500 billion, so half of what he originally negotiated. I guess that's a new negotiating technique. We face an unprecedented crisis. Our voices are going to be so necessary. And given the crisis and given the fact that next week is Direct Support Professionals Week, we need to really walk the talk. Together we can make a difference. We are going to be facing a tough crisis in our state as well with the budget. But we need the feds to come through and to do something substantial. And I really, I don't understand why they're not offering something substantial, even if it's not the same amount as the House of Representatives. But you need to know this if you care about people with disabilities and if you care about, you know, really your schools, your communities, uh, we really have to share our voice. So hang in there. Let's work together. Do not back off. We need you more than ever. And I know it's hard out there, but we can do it working together. Thank you. Talk to you soon.